uh, this video is on installing a Camco Extendistay, stay and what this thing is is just basically a uh, manifold uh, for the propane tank and it allows you to uh, connect both uh, your grill to the RV's propane tank as well as um, to connect uh, one of those 10 pounder portable ones that you can use to uh, extend the uh, the uh, LP uh, quantity that you have so that you don't have to take it uh, take the RV get the LP filled up if it's not convenient you can just go get one of the 10 pounders and connect it if your LP is low okay well uh, here's a propane tank uh, inside here and the first thing I'm going to do is uh, there's a little bit of rust here so I'm going to do some corrosion control and I did take this cover off already uh, which uh, uh, protects the uh, regulator. Now I couldn't find uh, the exact color of this paint. This is a fairly light gray is what I would call it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I bought some uh, Rust-Oleum, just a small can of it, and um, bought some white, and I do have some gray uh, already, and I'm just going to try to see if I can just mix a little bit uh, of the uh, gray in with the white. In fact, I, I can't use this gray, i got to use black, because this I just see is, an, is uh, latex, and this is enamel, so i got some black I can mix in with this. Well, after mixing up the uh, paint uh, so that it's a pretty good uh, close approximation, I uh, painted all the rust spots. The next day, uh, this is all nice and dry, uh, this paint job I did. Um, maybe it's not a perfect match color-wise, but it's not too bad and it's close enough for what I care. And certainly better than, um, certainly better than, than the uh, corrosion that was on there. Okay. Now, what we want to do is get a couple wrenches here. And it's always a good idea when you're dealing with uh, these fittings is to use a backing wrench whenever you can. And what I mean by backing wrench, now this is 7 16 so this goes on to the uh, fitting, and then I'm going to take this fitting off with a 3 8. Now, in this case, um, these are backwards, so it's lefty tidy, righty loosey, okay, rather than lefty loosey, righty tidy. And uh, you might get a little bit of gas whiff as you take this off if it's been pressurized before. And, uh, okay, this is the uh, new fitting and again uh, it tightens backwards it's, uh, these are left-handed I guess you could call them left-handed threads and uh, we'll put this new manifold on and just this manifold to where things seem to be uh, right for you so this is basically the part that goes to a grill should you decide to use one. And this part uh, goes to a um, external tank if you want to use one of those. And you don't need any uh, you don't need any um, pipe dope or goop or anything. Now the only issue I see with hit, with this is that there is no backing. Uh, way to put a backing wrench on this because there's no flat spot on this. So basically I'm just going to try to hold it as best I can as I tighten it down. And then we got this leak detector that we'll try later when we're done. Okay now the next step is to put the original uh, line in with the regulator and this is the regulator that goes to the entire coach for the uh, LP uses in the coach itself now one thing is is this 
this little box here goes over here to protect the um, protect the regulator. Yet this regulator is extending a little bit further further on here. So what I think I'm going to do is um, get a piece of metal and put it underneath here, bolt it to this, so I can extend like a protection uh, around to the back side of the, uh, the regulator. But we'll do that after we get this tightened up. Okay, again, I can put a biking wrench on this one. And again, um, lefty tidy, righty loosey. Now I also want to check this to make sure that this is tight and this one here you don't have to worry about so much because um, this basically just a dust cover and this has got a valve in it already. Uh, this is a standard um, LP tank, portable tank uh, type valve. So basically we don't have to worry about this leaking. And I believe, now I've used so far a 7 8 and a 7 16 And let's see what we got here. This is also 7 16 And this is a 9 16 So on this particular one, um, I believe this one here, it, this is the regular uh, lefty loosey righty tighty. So this is, these are right handed threads on this side. And we just, we just get that cinched down real tight. Okay, now I'm going to turn the gas on and I'm going to use my leak detector and see if we have any leaks. So gas is on and just spray around here. What will happen is if there's any leaks we'll see some bubbling. And uh, I think we're all I think we're all set. Looks good. Don't see any. Don't see any leaking. Um, and besides, you know, when we normally use this thing, or when we normally travel with this thing, this thing will be off most of the time. Of course, you don't want it to leak when you turn it on. But uh, and so, but for now, I'm going to turn this back off because we're not really going to need it today. So we've turned this off, uh, clean this up a little bit. Now what I'll show you while we uh, kind of do this is, um, and you probably could use just soap. You know, that's probably all this is. It's probably just an expensive bottle of, I mean, it was like five bucks. It's probably just a expensive bottle of dishwashing detergent with some red dye in it. Okay, one of the, th the we have a um, two sizes. This is a short hose, and I believe it's five foot long. And with this short hose, you could probably, if you anticipated using this a lot, you could probably just put this in and leave it, because it does have, I believe it has a valve. I believe Camco told me it had a valve in the end here, but let's look here. Yeah, there is a valve in the end there. So, um, what this one does is this connects to a, a portable propane tank. And um, if I can get these little wire things off. So, the way this works is just a five footer here. Or maybe, yeah, I guess it's a five footer. Uh, you connect this here, and then you would set a propane tank, you know, 10 pound or so, and put, pop it on there. And then you've got um, an extra, you know, 10 pounds worth of propane without having to take your RV and unhook everything and go find a place that can fill propane. You can just go to, you know, any hardware store, any place, most places will carry 
you know, these portable propane ones. You know what I'm talking about, the ones that like, you use for your uh, big gas grills. And so that's what this one does. And this one, uh, in a similar fashion, um, this is, I believe, a 12-footer. This one goes into the top piece, and then uh, this has got the opposite end, and this goes into your uh, ga uh, gas grill. Now, this has to have a regulator on the grill, so this should plug in to what would normally be one of those portable grill bottles uh, on the other side of the regulator, because it, as you see, there's no regulator on this side, the regulator f for the RV is here. So, anyway, that's about it for this um, installation. And um, I'm going to pause the camera now and I'll come back when I come up with some kind of a little platform for here and show you how I finished that up. I found a piece of King Starboard polymer in, in my garage, which is what this stuff here is. Uh, it's used extensively in the boating industry, and they use it for things like, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, replacing plywood. You can get it in a quarter, half inch, and three quarter sizes, thicknesses, and it's all but replaced plywood in boats. Um, so, like for seat backing and stuff like that, they use this a lot. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of milk jug plastic, except it's just a lot thicker. Well, what I did is just uh, drilled a few holes here. And um, I'll see if I can get this thing to line up and get it installed in the bottom. Okay, we got the uh, shroud in. Uh, we have the uh, shroud on now, so this project's completed, and the shroud uh, goes all the way to the uh, front like it did, and then the starboard completely covers the bottom, so it's completely protected.